it's quite amazing nature we got to do here in Norway. So I'm on my way back collecting my uh, fourth Ford Transit. This is uh, just a small project I'm doing uh, uh, within the next couple of weeks. Uh, ma major, ma most of because I want to fix some small stuff on it and uh, resell it and uh, get it back on the road to a new owner. So this is this is a 1980 uh, Mark II with a two-liter Pinto engine. It's previously owned by a uh, forest school in Norway. Uh, it's in okay condition, uh, pretty much original. It has some uh, rust spots on the doors, the rear doors, and also the floor beneath the driver's seat and the driver's sill, but nothing major. It's just a couple of patch panels, so uh, it's gonna be a quite easy fix. Uh, this was sent to the uh, to the uh, MOT, but uh, got declined because of the a leaky master cylinder, and uh, also it was on uh, old rotted summer tires. So I'm gonna fix the master brake cylinder and a couple of patch pans on rust, and get some new tires on it, and that should be most of it. So it's a. Uh, what can I say? <laughs> it's an old transit. I'm I'm not going to do a big project of this one. I want to keep the patina. Uh, I want to clean it uh, and maybe seal the, you know, where the rust spots are around the car and uh, fit some new headlamps, headlamps around. And then it'll be uh, ready for the road. I'm not going to take you on a full tour of the car uh, right now because uh, I'm just on a short break and I still have uh, seven hours of drive to get back home. But you can see this one is a left-hand drive, originally a nine-seater bus. So yeah, got some lovely fleece blankets. This has to come off. But I think the reason that they uh, Installed the uh, put the carpet there was uh, because of the, one of the rear seats. Ooh. Yeah, this doesn't look good. So we need to figure out something. But for now, I'm gonna close this door. Then I'm gonna jump back into Discovery and uh, find myself a camp spot for the night. So I'm gonna unfold my rooftop tent and uh, cook me some dinner. And uh, yeah, let's see if I can find, my, find another location. Thousand three hundred and sixty kilometers. Uh, I left my house on Sunday at six o'clock, and I got back home now at uh, Tuesday, eleven o'clock. So I spent two nights in the rooftop tent, which uh, worked out quite good. But I'm uh, lucky to be back and got this beauty back home. So I have a question for you guys. Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer, do you prefer the Mark II, like this one? Or do you prefer the Mark I? 
they are basically the same car, um, almost, except some, except some upgrades on the both the inside and outside. I'm not sure myself. I think I like the Mark One better because it has a more classical look, has a more retro look. But the uh, Mark Two is actually, yeah, it's quite decent. So you can see this car has been owned by Statens Skogskole Osen. That's uh, that's Norwegian for the state's forestry school in Osen. It's a small, it's a town up in uh, the west of Norway. So um, yeah, let's check it out. Lovely brown interior. You can see that this car has been used properly. Ooh, what's that? Some rust. Yes. So I think uh, I think they're gonna there's gonna be some welding on this one as well. So the interior is, yeah, what can I say? It's uh, decent. It's missing the cover for the fuses, but I think I saw it in the glove box. So, yeah. I wanted to try to find a new rear bench. You can see how dirty this is one. You can see this. And also the, the fabric is all torn up. So we'll try to find a new, uh, bench for the rear. Uh, if not, I'm thinking if I maybe should take the seat from the long wheelbase and put it into this one. The only bad thing about that is that the seats from the long wheelbase are grey with a brown uh, face. But this one, these are all brown so I'm not sure yet. We'll find out. Luckily this car is a uh, run and drive. Well, let's find the keys. And she actually runs quite good. Yeah. This car I got this beautiful fleece carpet which has to be thrown away as fast as possible because I don't need them. I think they're ugly. Paperwork. Let me check on that later. Yeah. Cover for the fuse box. Ooh. You can see how dirty those seats are. They're not good at all. But I think it's looking better than the than the purple uh, blankets. Yeah. Uh, 
Now we need a new door hinge. Not the hinge, but the pin. Here we have the headlight surrounds. I need, I need to find one right side. This is the right side, yeah. We need, so we need one right side. But the left one is, yeah, that's in good, good shape. I think I'll just take the covers from the from the long wheelbase bus. I was stupid to lift up the carport, and I think we got a problem. Luckily, it actually looks really good from underneath. Let's see if I can find. Doesn't look too bad. So hopefully it is just surface rust. So but I think I have to remove the seats and the carpet and clean everything up with a wire wheel and protect it with some rust treatment. I think so. But I think that's it for today. So uh, thank you all for watching and uh, stay tuned for the following videos on the repairs and also getting this car MOT and get the license, uh, license plate so uh, stay tuned stay tuned <laughs> it's actually working <laughs> just a small problem I don't have any brakes so luckily it's not that steep uh, I have uh, no brakes at all. Ah, maybe a little bit of brakes on the bottom. It's not too, nothing to worry about.